We've seen a trend all through this season with clubs charging away fans an incredible amount of money. Clubs know that we will always fill uh, our capacity uh, and people will pay whatever it needs to get to it. But we expect to be treated fairly. We don't ask UEFA to go and see the airlines and to ask them to give free price to UEFA fans, but to have an impact on where they actually can make a difference. We are the people who really come for the game, for friendship, for supporting, and we pay for it. The rest of the people always earn out of it. This happened in the past, but there is an accumulation of those situations. What up, Copa fam? We're in Munich, Germany. We're doing a little exploration right now on fan rights when it comes to attending European matches. So last year, Anderlecht, the club, charged Bayern Munich fans too much money and Wafer went back and had them actually reimburse Bayern Munich fans. This year, Besiktas fans aren't being allowed to attend the Bayern Munich game because of some issues with the clubs not taking responsibility over fan management. Tomorrow, we head off to Seville, where Seville's playing Manchester United, and both clubs have actually had to subsidize payment for tickets for their fans because they both artificially raised the prices. Now, the thing to call into question here is that that football clubs are no longer a responsible body. Unless they're regulated, they'll keep trying to profit as much and much as possible, and that becomes particularly evident within the European football scene. We're going to speak with Football Supporters Europe, supporters of Besiktas, Bayern Munich, Sevilla, and Manchester United, all about some of the struggles that fans in European competitions regularly face, and link at why fans are being taken away from the most special and exciting competition they could possibly attend. guys singing Besiktas chants behind us, wearing Bayern Munich hats. Because of some supporter problems earlier, they've decided to have no fans be able to come to the game tonight. Obviously, supporters are not going to let that stop them to go into a football match. So, people are wearing the Bayern gear, they're singing Besiktas songs, and they'll get into random places. More safe? I doubt it. Our management decided not to send local supporters from Turkey to the Munich game because of the decision which had been done by UEFA after the Lyon Beşiktaş game. We had some colleagues from Bayern Munich supporters, so they arranged us a dinner last night. Today they help us to find tickets because we can't find tickets that easily. As you may know, we have a huge immigrant population in living in Germany. That's why most of the people, even though they are not supporting Beşiktaş, also want to join the game. As far as I learned, they charge 100 euros, which is more than twice expensive than usual prices. The policy of Besiktas is not making any sense because they create a situation where the fans have to throw the law, don't respect the regulation, go in their home sector just because they want to support their club. There are some Turkish guys trying yeah. to buy these tickets, yeah. but I, they almost don't have churches on it. You come out here right now and you see a whole set of buses coming from all over the country. In 2018, when a club is a global product, who are you to say, what makes a Bayern Munich fan? What makes a Besiktas fan? There's people who live all over the world, who follow these clubs, who try to attend their matches. And from far away on television, it can look all beautiful and easy. But the truth is, someone's gonna get in trouble because one cop will see a ticket with somebody's name on it being sold to the wrong person, they'll be banned for life. Is that that supporter's fault? Or is that a legislation system that isn't taking into account the real practicalities of being a football fan? You find yourself in a situation where the club does not defend you. UEFA makes no rules, and you have to rely on opposing supporters to go to a football match. I believe just if football fans always find a way to solve it out. I would expect from them they should make us sit together. For example, the incident happened in Lyon. We can get together the prominent supporter of our team, and their supporters also come together, and we can talk and show this is not the only point. There is not only fight in between us and we can solve it. The problem behind all this is that it's lack of understanding of the fan culture. Mm. We've just finished things up here in Munich. It's now 6 a.m. we're flying over to Seville. Vile has been tonight, Seville, Manchester United. If you thought this story was ridiculous, Get ready what happens in the next city. Bob, go. Do not go. Skin wall. Do not go. Do not go.
present culture. So now we're in Seville, Spain. We're gonna meet up with the Manchester United Supporters Trust for starters. They're gonna tell us about how they're working with the club to make sure the tickets are subsidized and they get stopped getting screwed over when they're traveling abroad for UEFA matches. All of them are calling on one thing. This is UEFA to finally make some legislation to make sure that clubs can't keep screwing over fans when it comes to international matches in the most exciting tournament in the world. Sevilla started by deciding to charge United fans 100 euros for this match. La directiva del Sevilla, pensando que el Manchester era un equipo muy conocido, que tenía hinchas en todo el mundo, subió los precios de manera desproporcionada, 100, 150, 200 euros. The proposal from United was originally 60 euros, which seems to be a rather reasonable price. So they fought the case with Sevilla and they said, no, you shouldn't be charging that much. Clubs were not able to. Uh, to reach a reasonable agreement. Our club, I know, gave them an ultimatum and said, look, if you don't, what we're going to do is we're going to charge your fans 100 euros, but we're going to give the extra money back to our supporters so they only pay as much as Liverpool did. It's quite significant in how a stronger regulation is needed. The problem is, the way the regulation is written, it allows some clubs to take advantage and say, well, actually, strictly, we're still following the, the rule. There are so many loopholes around it. You can, for example, give a discount to your members, which is often what Spanish clubs do because they have a lot of members. You can sell tickets in a bundle, which is what Anderlecht did. So clearly the regulation is not sufficient. It needs to be amended, it needs to be more specific, and it needs to take into consideration that clubs are not always reasonable. Now we're not sure what's going to happen next because we know there was this successful disciplinary case against Anderlecht. But we want to make sure there is absolutely no doubt you know, so change the regulation, make it more specific, make it clear that we don't pay any more than season ticket holders or, or their equivalent in that part of the season. How many pesos? One. One hand. Yes, how many pesos? One. 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 Why is it so important to have these European away days? I mean, what do they mean? Obviously with season ticket holders we go to the, a lot of domestic aways, but a European away, it's a different culture. You know, you're, you're doing it in a different country. Part of it is the adventure of actually planning your journey. So what we would like UEFA to acknowledge is that the away fans are also part of the show. The television spectacle is better if you've got away fans. When an away sector is half empty, this is not helping anyone. And not only that, you know, we've come to this city and we're spending a lot of money in this city. When people come on their free time with their own money, travel across Europe, you need to give them the minimum condition for that. So. Yo creo que igual que la UEFA pone un número de, de entradas mínimas para cada club, un partido de Champions debería de poner un precio en función de fase de grupo. Clubs don't always take reasonable decisions. Clubs take decisions that are uh, motivated by financial interest, by a lot of uh, a lot of other things. People will travel in any case, and that's the, the responsibility of the club to make sure that they will be in the best possible condition when attending the match. The game's just about to start in classic Champions League fashion. It's pandemonium outside the ground. They've brought out the list of players. They've already taken the pitch. People haven't gotten into the stadium. The away supporters are lost everywhere you look. It's a classic Champions League night. Si la UEFA pierde la mitad que damos los hinchas por el fútbol, sería el fútbol mucho más feliz. Perfecto. Muchas gracias.